This is a Permobil F3. This is the newest power chair that Permobil came out with a year and a half ago, or two years ago. <clears throat> this power chair is exactly one year old. So 2016 of July of last year, so it's about a year old. It has three miles, so it's practically brand new with three miles. It's fully loaded. It has a 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric legs, uh, it has everything. It has a swing away joystick. There's so many features on this chair, it's hard to believe. These are very popular right now because these are the top of the line. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you about this F3 is the electric seat lift of 12 inches. You can work the seat lift through the joystick or through the box behind here. So I'm going to do it through the box. It's a lot quicker for me to do it this way. If you just push the button here, your seat will start going up. And you see right now, you've got that 12 inch seat lift going up. Now this chair, the color of this chair is black. So this is what would be black, this right here, right here, and around the rim. So the color of this chair is black. And those colors can be changed. You can order those from Permobil, different colors. So now we've got your 12 inch seat lift raised up. The nice thing about this 12 inch seat lift is, in the old days, you only had one pole going up and holding the whole seat up. Now you've got the pole and you've got a three point, like a bar stool with three legs. You've got the actual actuator here. You've got these points here. What that does, it takes away all the rattle, all the play, and the seat is real. So when you're up in the air, you have no more of this bouncing around a little bit. Now that we've got the seat elevated, we're going to talk about the suspension. You can see the suspension here for the front and the suspension for the back. You've got this on both sides of the chair. This suspension can be adjusted by turning these rings right here. If you turn the rings, the springs are going to get tighter on both sides. So the suspension on this chair can be adjusted to whatever tension you want it to. You can see we've got 14 inch non-skid wheels here, which they will not mark your floors in your home. Caster wheels in the back. You've got a motor under here on both sides. And you can see the handle right here behind the motor. If you need to put this chair in neutral, it tells you right here, push the handle down and your chair is in neutral. Make sure you do both sides of the chair because you have two levers for neutral. Now, this chair weighs about 400 pounds, so it's not an easy chair to push around, but if you needed to push it around, you would turn the power off and then you could be able to push it off by putting the chair in neutral. So now we've got the 12 inch seat lift that we just demonstrated to you. I'm gonna put it back down. Also with this chair, you've got a nice swing away joystick. You can swing the joystick from the front to the side very easily. And this can be put on the right or it can be transferred to the left, depending if you're right-handed or left-handed. That's no problem at all. The arms do flip up for easy access. They do, both of them can flip up. So you can get in this way if you're transferring a board. Also, the next thing I'm gonna show is the electric tilt. This is your electric tilt over here. You can hardly, you can't even hear it. It's so quiet. So this is your full electric tilt right here. I'm gonna bring the tilt back down. Nice cushiony arms. You've got a safety belt, which we'll cover in a minute. So now we've got your, your seat back down. The next thing we're going to show is the electric recline and the electric level. I'm going to do both at the same time just to save time. So now we've got the recline, which is the back going back, and the legs going up at the same time. You can do it individually, no problem at all. So here we have a full recline, and we have your legs up in the air right now. So this is, and these legs are adjustable. So if this is too far, we can adjust them shorter or make them longer if we have to. Another thing with this chair, I'm just showing it right now, if you want your legs higher than your body, you can go to the tilt right here and you'll notice your legs and your tilt. So now, technically, look at this. You can have your legs above your body if you need uh, circulation. So 
It's a good thing on this chair you have that. A lot of them, once you get laid flat, you're not going to be able to tilt anymore. So this one here lays flat and then still tilts back. So now I'm going to bring the legs back down and the back back up. This chair uh, does have two batteries. They're a group uh, 34, which are 60 amp deep cycle battery. It takes two batteries. It takes two batteries to run this chair. Uh, and the batteries come out, one from the back and one from the front. You do have to have the seat elevated to be able to get the foot plate out of the way so you get the battery out from the front and one from, actually, I'm sorry, both of these batteries come out from the back. They're on a tray, so they come out from the back. So now I'm going to turn the chair around. The foot plate, the nice thing about these foot plates, they can be retracted all the way back under the chair. So I'm going to show you, you should never drive this way. But if you needed to get your foot plate all the way back under the chair, you can get out, there's not, almost nothing in your way. If you're going to go outside, make sure your foot plate are extended at least, at least this much if you're going to be outside because it gives you more clearance under the foot plate plus sometimes when they're too retracted you lose speed. The chair will, will know that the legs are not all the way out and will not go full speed. That's just to protect your legs. So have your legs out this way. The seat on this chair is 17, it's actually an 18 inch bottom, so 18 by 19. Well, now we can adjust this seat. If it's too small, we can make it we can make it 19, 21, we can adjust the, the width of the chair, the width of the seat. So we can make the seat, the seat bigger. Here's your foot plate, yeah, your foot plate. Here's your uh, safety belt. As I said earlier, the arms do move back for easy exit. You have a fully adjustable headrest. This will be your turning radius. So if you're turning inside your van or inside your, your house, this chair will turn like this all day long and stay in the same spot all day long without moving. I'm going to put it towards the back so you can see the back of the chair. On the back of the chair, you can see anchor points here. You have an anchor point here. As a matter of fact, they're marked in orange right here. Anchor point here, anchor point here, and you have two in front also. So if you're going to tie this chair down to your lip, do not tie it to the arms. Go to your anchor point. You're going to damage your chair if you go to these arms. Go to your anchor point. You've got a power button right here. This power button right there. This power button right here. Uh, you, when we ship a chair, we usually turn it off. So right now it's off, and this would be back on. You have reflector. These are not lights. These are reflectors. If you want to adjust the tilt on the arm, you just turn these cylinders here, either one, and it'll adjust the tilt on your arm. Your headrest is fully adjustable. As I said. This is a really nice power chair. I'm going to turn the power back on because I turned the power off here, so I have to turn the power back over here. So we'll reset the computer. This chair also comes with a charger. This is your charger right here. So when you charge this uh, F3 power chair, plug your charger below the joystick. And as soon as the light on your joystick turns to fully green all the way to the top, it's fully charged. The charger will stop charging automatically once the chair is full. So don't worry about overcharging your chair. It also comes with its own toolkit. You can see the tools in there. It has the original factory manual, the F3 manual toolkit. There's a few tools in there. So if you're looking for a real expensive power chair at one third or one fourth of the cost, this power chair here, as I said, has the 12 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric legs, the swing away joystick, the adjustable arms. Also, this is called a floating cushion. This cushion can be replaced. You can put any cushion you want. So if you want to put an air cushion on here, a gel cushion, whatever cushion you want, you just take this off. They all sit on Velcro. The seat is adjustable, so if you need the seat larger, we can make it larger. So this chair only has three miles. It's exactly one year old, in almost new condition, and it's ready to go.
goes five miles an hour. I'm raising the seat up right now. I forgot to mention in the video that you can drive this chair with the seat elevated. So I don't know if it's all the way up yet, but it's, it's on its way up right now. So when the seat is elevated, there we go, there we go. You can still drive this chair. At a lower speed, but you can still drive it. So if you're looking for a really nice chair, fully loaded for comfort, this would be a really nice one. This is Mark with Mark's Mobility. We are a family owned business for over 20 years. Thank you for watching this presentation. We have several other models available. If you have any questions, please call the number below. 800-677-6293. Thank you again for watching.